皆さん、こんにちは、マリアです。Good evening, everyone. My name is Maria, and this is Taki Nats 2020. And today will be a special episode because, as you know, the nationals, going to be really honest, they have been fairly quiet. I think they are planning something, they're plotting something. But aside from what we covered yesterday,、um, last week, I'm sorry, that we covered that Anthony Rendon will not be in the Nationals anymore. He's going to be with the Los Angeles Angels. That sounds really cacophonic. He's going to be with Los Angeles Angels, and that there's going to be new additions to the Nationals. So, since that, I'm going to be honest with you the Nationals have been fairly quiet. And I don't know about you guys, but from one side, I like kind of the mystery vibe that is giving me from the Nationals, but I am fairly scared. Like, what are they plotting that they are so quiet? Because right now, I have my computer in front of me, because I am a real blogger right now, because I have the computer and everything. It's a joke. Just ignore it. Anyways, I have my computer here and going in the Washington National Twitter. That will be at Nationals. Washington National Twitter is already with the check mark, the blue check mark. You can find it right there in the Twitter. So they have the promotional cal- calendar for. April, May, June, July, August, and September. That is an attitude. They got promotions because apparently the Cookie Monster thinks that the C4 Champions is actually a C4 cookie. And it's a big promotion because it's going to be Sesame Street Day on, set, no, on July. So that is basically what. They have been uploading so far, like very much promotions and just the World Series champion, Washington Nationals music, WWE night. Everything is just promotions about what's coming up, how they are ready to go 1 0 any day. 1 0 any day. There was something that I found here that really struck me. And I'm going to be reading it straight from, from the horse's mouth. Oh, by the way, guys, this is a special episode, you know? This is not, go- this is not going to be a long, long podcast. Like the ones that you're going to be listening to since next week. But. Yeah, I just wanted to touch up with the last information that I could dig in from the Washington Nationals Twitter. And that is something really cool. We got the top 10 right now for the back to back National League s a y o n g Award winners. And Matt Scherzer. We got Mark Scherzer on fourth position. I don't think this is right at all. And I'm going to be really honest. I'm going to do the research right now on this because I know that, yes, Max Scherzer is a back to back, but I don't think he only got like two s i g o n g s I don't think, I don't remember him having three. Maybe this is another Mandela effect. Who knows? <laughs> Just, yeah. Let's not even look into that up real quick here. Using, again, baseballreference.com. So, yeah, we got here. Because for me, I don't think he got more than two. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we are. 
he only have two. He got yeah, he only had more than two. He got two. And that was 2016 and 2017. Back to back Cy Young Award. But that's the thing. Why is he on fourth place? I don't think. Yeah, there's a lot of back to backs, yes, but just Washington that's what that's the thing. Yes, they are they are talking about the back to back Sayo War winner. Oh yeah. This is what happened when you don't read well, when you don't sleep well. This is the shredder. The shredder stop starting picture. When you don't read things correctly, this is what happened guys. Read. That is a good that is a good thing to read. So yeah, they posted the Washington Nationals post posted that the the shredders stop starting picture. Number one, Jacob the Groom. The Grom, the Groom, the Grom. Not the groom because it's not a groom. Jacob de Grom, Justin Berlander, Garrett Cole, Matt Scherzer on fourth place, Ryu, the North Korean for South Korea, from South Korea, on um, sixth place, Granky, seventh place, Flaherty, eighth place, Pla- Patrick Corbin, ninth place, Clevinger, and tenth place, I am sorry, I want to butcher that name, Boiler. So yeah, my big mistake into putting, into not reading things right. This is what happens when you're live and you don't make notes about what you're going to say live. This is what happens, guys. So read and make notes if you're going to make a podcast. So yeah, um, we got Scherzer and Corbin on the Shredder's Stop Starting Pictures. And that is about basically all stats related things that the Washington National has been posting on their Twitter at Nationals. Just they have been fairly quiet and right now I'm going to let that be until next week. Because next next week we start damn it. Sorry. Twitter. Next week we are going to be starting with the spring break. That will be on February 20. That will be a Thursday. And I'm going to be really honest with you guys. Having just started with this, I am going to be following more spring break than ever right now because I'm going to get to see one of the games that I most wanted to see, as I said in the last podcast, Washington Nationals versus New York Yankees. Just because I got, I, I was able to actually book a plane ticket and a park ticket I'm going to be following more on this because for me this is something that I want to watch before I die or before I cannot have the and en- I don't have the energy to travel anymore so watching the Washington Nationals and the New York Yankees for me is a it's a dream come true because I want to see when the Washington Nationals crush the New York Yankees like little pucko kernels, like bye bye Yankees. But yeah, I'm going to be following on that. That will be starting next week on February 20. And yeah, aside from that, that I told you the Washington Nationals are fairly quiet. Let's go on a quick break, and we are going to be talking about the. Serie del Caribe. This is something per se MLB related, but it's not that MLB related at all because you don't see MLB players on it, but the players that do play in the 
serie del Caribe, the Caribbean series, are players that are on the double A and the triple A's. So we are going to be talking about that, what it is, when do they play, who do they play in, in it, and yeah. So let's go on a quick break and we'll be right back with Talking Nets 2020. Welcome back to Talking Nets 2020. So yeah, as I was saying, we are going to be talking about right now in this special episode of the Serie del Caribe 2020. Every year we get a Serie del Caribe, Caribbean series. Yeah, I am giving, I am um, doing it as a given that everyone in the MLB fandom knows Spanish a little bit to know what the Serie del Caribe is but that many much Latin born players that there is in the Major League as a whole I am giving it as a given that many of you have already taken the knowledge of knowing Spanish if you haven't Serie del Caribe translates in English to Caribbean series It is played every year. The teams that do get to play on it are Puerto Rico, Cuba, and the Dominican Republic, which are the founders of, this, of these games, especially Puerto Rico and Cuba. And uh, Yeah, that's why, Serie del Caribe. It was founded by the Caribbean in the Antilles. And one thing is, this is very important. Also, on that note, the ones, the, this is very important because, yeah, it's not only three teams. Other teams that play there are Mexico, 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 Panama, which is a new addition, a new addition per se, because they have been invited on and on, so, on and off, I'm sorry. And right now, I think they are making them official, finally. Also, Colombia is going to make the, his um, the debut this year, and they are planning to make them officials as well. And aside from that, Venezuela is also one of the teams. So you got right there Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Mexico, Panama, Colombia, and Venezuela. You got seven teams there. Right now, Cuba didn't play on this on um, this past Caribbean series, Serie del Caribe, and it looks like they're not going to be playing on the next Serie del Caribe, but that is, I am not going to discuss why they are not playing, because those are political issues, and I am not going to get into that, because I can get banned from YouTube and from this podcast, so I am going to keep my mouth shut. Anyways, guys... So yeah, Series del Caribe. You got the uh, the countries that play in Series del Caribe, all Latin based. You may see a few other United States person there, and a few other maybe Argentinian, maybe European, but mostly Latino based players. You may see even Italians playing there. But mostly are Latino based players. You're going to see different, a different type of baseball that you see in the U.S. Because Latinos, we play with a lot of flavor. We play with a lot of. It's just it's a different baseball, honestly. And yes, I noticed that when I went to Washington, the first time. Is is another baseball, and Washington plays fairly 